For the second time in two weeks, thousands of Durham Public Schools students can't go to school. Good afternoon to you. I'm Jeff Hogan. And I'm Renee Chu. Protests have closed seven schools today, affecting about 5,000 children and teenagers. WRL's Monica Casey is live at today's protest downtown. Monica, quite a crowd behind you. What's happening right now? Yeah, Renee, the number of students not in school today is about half of what it was last Wednesday, almost 5,000, but that is still so many families impacted. The Durham Association of Educators is leading this rally here today. They've been picketing, marching around the building. They just stopped here to take a quick break. This group has three demands. The first is to restore all salary steps and asking for no pay cuts in February's checks. The second demand is a public ex explanation of January's paychecks and the third is a work session to meet and confer scheduled for next week. Classified staff are the ones impacted by these salary issues we've been covering for weeks, but these protests here include certified staff and even former employees here to show their support. And it, I stand ground with them. I stand with them 100%, you know. You can't, we can't be treated like that. They up there and we're down here it's like they're stepping on us, like crushing us, like, you know, so it's very unfair. The board met for a total of seven and a half hours last Friday. They had two closed sessions with an open session in between. There were two options on the table to deal with this salary issue, but they voted to table it for this Thursday's meeting. Many people who are here don't like either of those two options on the table that the board was considering. They want to keep their years of outside experience counting in their salary steps, and they want the pay raise that came with that salary study. Renee? For everyone involved, hopefully they can find some kind of resolution as they talk through those options. Monica Casey, live in Durham.